In this week's episode, we start a conversation on personal blogging and social media. A couple of important dates are coming up, and we find out where I've been over the last few weeks. Welcome to Blog Oklahoma. Friday. Friday afternoon. Welcome to another edition of Frizzy Hair Friday. Wind. Do I need to say more? That's how I led into something I recently posted on my blog. It's how I begin most of my update posts. These are little multiple topic things I'll share from time to time to let everyone know what's going on. These posts are usually accompanied by a webcam selfie, so I'll poke fun at my long, naturally curly, often frizzy hair in some way. Especially if I post on Fridays. Thus, Frizzy Hair Friday. <laughs> These kind of update posts are a nice way to let people know what's going on and to keep your blog a little more personal. Back in the early days of blogging, you could find more personal blogs like this. Nowadays, you'll find more blogs are more topic-based, like uh, fashion, gardening, uh, product reviews, travel, oh yeah, even politics. <laughs> the personal aspect of blogging has been shifted over to social media in such places as Facebook and Google+. I even found myself doing that. I started blogging less on my personal blog and started posting these things on social media, mostly on Google+, and then echoed everywhere else. There are a great many benefits to posting these things on social media, like being able to connect directly with your family and friends. But as I was doing this over time, I started to feel you lose something when you only do this on social media to post these kind of things. You give up control. I control my blog and how I want my posts presented to you. I can control things like advertising, commenting, linking, and discoverability. These are things you give up control of when you use social media. You're locked into how they want your post presented, you only see their advertising, and they track and have been known to block your links. Not to mention you're at the mercy of their algorithm, meaning there's a good chance no one saw your post at all because it wasn't shared in their news feeds. Now these are all nitpicks. If you're happy with only posting personal updates on your social media, Please, by all means, continue to do so. But I would like you to also consider posting these kind of things on your blog. Remember, you can always share the link to your blog post on social media. So what do you think? Do you have a personal blog or do you strictly post on social media? Would love to hear your thoughts on this. Please leave a comment in the show notes at blogoklahoma.net. This week's Blog Oklahoma writing suggestion is a little challenge to write something different. How about an epic poem about your favorite pet? I look forward to reading it. Are you someone who blogs in or about Oklahoma? Then you already qualify for WebRing membership. Join Blog Oklahoma today. Want to know more about Blog Oklahoma? Then just explore the WebRing and discover some of the best blogs and podcasts in the nation. Just visit blogoklahoma.com. For more information, here are my top five music services I use practically every day. Number five, Sirius XM. If I'm in the car, I'm listening to Sirius XM. <laughs> Number four, Soma FM. Number three, Google Play Music. Number two, Radio Paradise, my favorite online radio station. And number one, Spotify. This is my go-to music app and home of the Blog Oklahoma bonus playlist. So there you have it, my top five music services. I have links to them and more in the show notes at blogoklahoma.net. Sorry for missing uh, the last few weeks. <laughs> 
A couple of weekends ago, my allergies acted up from all the seasonal dust that was blowing around that day, and it, I was just a miserable, stuffy-headed, sneezing mess. There was no way I was going to be able to record. And unfortunately, last weekend, Donna's mother fell and broke her hip. Last Sunday morning, she underwent hip replacement surgery. I'm happy to say everything went well and she should be up and around in no time. In fact, she's already started physical therapy. So a very big thank you to everyone who sent her well wishes. Much appreciated. A little aside here. An open question, if you will. Why are people posting real-time status updates on Facebook? For example, a local newspaper was live posting updates from a local high school football game. Now this would make sense if it were on Twitter, but Facebook? Oh, and I checked, they're not echoing Facebook to Twitter. Their Twitter feed was empty. <laughs> now from my experience, anything you post on your Facebook page is likely not to be seen until later, if at all. So unless the viewers are constantly refreshing your page where they found that magic combination of app notifications, Updates in Facebook are not going to be seen in real time. Am I missing something here? What do you think? An important date is fast approaching, and that is the end of Daylight Saving Time on Sunday, November 6th. It'll be time once again to set your clocks back one hour. I don't know about you, but I am so ready to end this practice. Another important date on our election calendar is the deadline to request an absentee ballot. That's by 5 p.m. on Wednesday, November 2nd. If you don't think you're going to be able to go to the polls on Tuesday, November 8th, request an absentee ballot and vote by mail. For details, please visit ok.gov elections. Oh, and don't forget to look over the 2016 Oklahoma Voter Guide. This handy publication lets you know what's going to be on the ballot this November 8th, you can get it at okvoterguide.com. Did you know we have our own cafe press store? Ooh, probably not since I've been gone for a couple of weeks. Hey, we have our own cafe press store. There you can purchase a t-shirt, coffee mug, tote bag, and other great items with the Blog Oklahoma podcast artwork on it. So please head on over to cafepress.com slash blogoklahomapodcast. I've added even more great music to the Blog Oklahoma bonus playlist. There is now well over 14 hours of music for you to enjoy. You can listen to this playlist on Spotify. I have links to it and more in the show notes at blogoklahoma.net. Oh, and I want to remind everyone you now have several new ways to listen to this podcast. So besides the website at blogoklahoma.net, you can subscribe to this podcast with iTunes, Player FM, or your favorite podcast app. You can also listen to us on Stitcher, TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Google Play Music, and of course, YouTube. And many of these services are already available on the media device of your choice, including Apple TV, Amazon Fire, Chromecast, and Roku. Hey, speaking of Roku, please feel free to install the Blog Oklahoma Podcast Roku channel so you can see you have many ways to listen to us. I'll have all the links to all these services and methods I mentioned at blogoklahoma.net. And thank you for listening to the Blog Oklahoma podcast. I'm happy to announce, as of October 30th, 2016, Blog Oklahoma has 912 registered Oklahoma bloggers. Hooray! Your feedback is important, so please feel free to contact me with your comments or questions. You can get hold of me in a multitude of ways. Just visit blogoklahoma.net slash contact for more information. Check our show notes for all the links and bonus material from today's episode. This has been Kevin Latham for Blog Oklahoma. Until next time, oh, and happy anniversary, Donna. <laughs>